Good morning. Welcome, guys, guys, and on binary pals. Good morning, everybody. Happy Hands Off Wednesday. How do you still forget the day? How do you we, do this? We record on a Saturday, and I thought... We always record on a Saturday, and you only do Wednesdays now. What do you mean? Say that last one again. He's been sitting here for the last hour reading memes to me. So... <laughs> They are off of my own personal Facebook page. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> has anybody ever actually gotten salmonella from eating raw cookie dough? Or are people just trying to stop me from living my life? It's not the egg in cookie dough that does it. It's actually the uncooked flour. You're trying to stop me from living my life. As long as you cook your flour, you can actually eat raw cookie dough. I just accidentally inhaled Kool-Aid dust. So if I come busting through your wall, you know why. Okay, okay. You're doing great, buddy. You're doing great. The day the casino gets an Uno table is the day I start gambling. Poker's kinda like Uno. <laughs> if you scream Uno loud enough, they'll throw you out. <laughs> <laughs> Therapist, how would you say you learn best? Me, the fucking hard way. Facts. Straight facts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I, I, have to, I have to be there to learn. You have to see it to believe it. You know, it's like a Disney movie. <laughs> Did I really get in trouble if I'm still alive? No. <laughs> Half my little town may be on drugs, but at least they wave. Happy little crackheads. Happy little crackheads. <laughs> Methany down the street just waving at you. Oh, it's a good day to you too, Methany. She, she's not seeing you right now. She's looking very much past you. <laughs> <laughs> she thought that cloud was a donkey and it stole her her crack rock. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like repeating myself because I'm going to add a little razzle dazzle if I say it again. <laughs> the funny thing is, I didn't catch the beginning of that, so I was going to tell you to repeat it. <laughs> I'm going to add a little razzle dazzle if I say it again. <laughs> Do it. One more time. So, repeating myself because add dazzle razzle again say i don't like it ah uh, you just made it stupid it wasn't that even was, funny the second time I, that was the point asshole that's not razzle dazzle you just made it boring your razzle dazzle sucked yeah well listen it's kind of hard to add razzle dazzle if it's i'm reading it off of the screen so what did, uh, wh what you recently do, man? Uh, I pierced my nose. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> on, a <wh> <laughs> you, on a whim, you know. <laughs> you scared of the crackheads, I yell back at them, we not the same. You don't want to start, you don't want to start turf wars. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we come from a place where you start turf wars, you're gonna end up dead in your home. <laughs> it's not smart. <laughs> When Velma said, my glasses, I can't see without my glasses. I felt that. Fags. <laughs> so fags. Bro, I'm like, I'm literally blind without my glasses. So am I. Like, <laughs> I, was, I, I can't remember what I was doing. But she's like, can you not see that? I was like, I don't think you understand how much my glasses actually do for me. Because <laughs> it's, it's more than you. Her glasses are usually on her head. I can't see shit like two feet in front of my face without mine. <laughs> Told myself I'm going to be dumb rich when I grow up. So far, I'm dumb. So we halfway there. That's so, fair. uh, I, <laughs> you said, you said you got your steps, uh, car impounded. And I told yeah. you to hold off on that one. What happened? So I went to go get my nose pierced. And my car would not have made it there because my car's my car is not good for because we live in a little city. And I where I went to get my nose pierced was over in the big city. You know what big city I'm talking about. Right? Yeah. Why would you but, go all the uh, way over there? Uh, they were the only place I was doing walk ins. And I didn't feel like scheduling an appointment. So I drove out there. <laughs> so I borrowed her car and I um, I parked it in a parking lot and did not see a sign that said, hey, this parking lot's monitored. If you're not supposed to be here, you will get towed. 
So I went with three of my friends and we walked out after we were done. We were there for a good four hours because they got tattoos and other piercings done too. Uh-huh. And we, we walk out. I look over. I said, guys, they go, yeah. I said, um, where's the car? Um, where's the my vroom vroom machine? Goes, my buddy goes, oh, shit. It's like, uh-huh. Because he was the one that told me to park there because he said that his mom normally parked there when they went to that tattoo place. Oh, bro. No, he said, oh, shit. I bet <laughs> Diddy was happy about that. Oh, he was livid. Oh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> he told me, he's like, you graduated high school and no one taught you how to read a fucking sign? <laughs> I, was like, I didn't see the sign. The other, the other sign was ripped off the wall on the way I came in. I didn't see the sign. He Eddie, goes, there was well, no sign. He goes, you know, someone probably ripped that fucking sign off the wall because they didn't see it either. <laughs> Daddy, I didn't know. I didn't see the sign. There was no sign. It was on the ground. It was a ground sign. So my dad had to uh, drive back to that big city this morning to the impound lot and get my stepmother's car out of it. Oh, I bet he was real overjoyed about that. Oh, yeah, I know. He tossed me the keys to it this morning. He goes, here's the fucking car back. I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, thank he you. And walked out. He, I also have the ticket slip for it. I'm I didn't surprised they didn't make you pay for it. Oh, they did. 225 bucks. Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was surprised he didn't make you go and pay for it, is what I mean. Oh, no. (laughs) My my buddy sent him the money for it to get it out because it was his idea to park there. Yeah. So, he uh, because he felt like it was his fault, so he paid my dad the money to get it out. To be fair, all of you are stupid enough to not look, so... Yeah. (laughs) I'm pretty sure this was a chip-in effort. Yeah, so my dad had to drive all the way to the city... To pick up four kids sitting in a parking lot because the car wasn't there anymore. <laughs> I now have my room room machine, Daddy. Can you come pick me up in the mystery machine? Mind you, it was like 10 o'clock at night. Bro, I can't even say nothing. That man has made you go out at 2 in the morning to buy, like, fucking milk. So. Yeah. Never leave me wandering because I'm a wander the fuck off. Facts. My mom refuses to take us in stores. Yeah. <laughs> If she can find one of us, she's going to find all three of us, including Debs. Yeah. Because all, all three of us stick together because we just wander and make stupid little remarks to each other. So if you find one, you're going to find all of us. She yep. also refuses to play Marco Polo. So yep. if you can't find her, <laughs> guess what? She's probably sitting somewhere waiting for you. Yeah. I love how she taught all of us to play Marco Polo and then refuses to join in. Yeah. She taught all of us, if you get lost, just start saying Marco Polo. And she does, she refuses to play her own game. Yeah. She just says, you know what, you wandered off, that's your own damn problem. I'll be waiting in the car for you fucks. I won't drive off, but I'll make you think I did. She always had the keys, too. Always had the keys. Never, never, ever gave away the keys. Yeah. Yeah. When you're quiet in a loud family, you learn how to deal with things. You yeah. you have the keys. They can't go anywhere because you have the keys. And Uber does not exist in the place where we're from. Nope. So you're if- going to find a way home, and it's going to be with those keys. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> if you can get an Uber around here, it's pretty pricey for three kids that didn't have money. It doesn't, like, we had to, when we came down during, like, Christmas and shit like that, you know, pre-pandemic, we ordered from the big town, and they drove all the way from there to pick us up. I believe it. It's, Uber does not exist in our town. Yeah. That's, it's just, it's too small. No one, you can walk just about anywhere you need to go, and if you can't, you don't need to be there, is basically how it works. Bro, he's hardcore snoring. All I see is a foot in the air. He's in his box. We have a box that has a bunch of uh, packing peanuts that we've had for, like, 
three years now that <laughs> that has a what is that show murder she wrote i think i think is what the blankets from she got it for christmas from her sister and it's too small for her to use like it's like it's just like a a pretty blanket and not a uzi blanket so i put it in the box and that's where he sleeps all i see is a foot <laughs> <laughs> and i oh you're mm. <laughs> i'm snoring <laughs> that man when he's asleep he is asleep i rest easy at night knowing if my friends ever need anything i'm only three to five missed phone calls away not relatable all right since your memes suck describe your perfect burger cheese and meat what kind of meat hamburger meat what the fuck kind of question is that there's other meat we have bison in the fridge that's weird hamburger meat <laughs> there's some of that in the fridge i've never or fridge in the freezer i've never had it what's the most exotic meat you've had i think i tried alligator beef jerky once what did it taste like chicken what is everything what is people may, maybe people don't know what things taste like everything is always chicken it's always compared to chicken awesome man i don't know what you want from me i don't think i've had like weird meat i didn't have lamb until like not even a year ago i didn't i don't think i liked it i can't remember to be honest you ever had lamb yeah you like it I like gyros. Gyros is lamb, so yeah. Hero. Gyro. It, it's hero. You're wrong. I'm not. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What have you done wrong most of your life and only recently found out the right way to do it? Bro, this is this guy on TikTok that like I follow on Instagram. His name's Jordan. I have learned so much more from that man than I have in my 14 years of schooling. <laughs> like, I learned new things. I learned how to uh, use an actual can opener today. You don't know how to use a can opener? No, it, how you usually use it is you crack open the top. But he shows you how you actually use it. And you it's from the side. So the whole top comes off so it's not sharp. Yeah. See? You just learned something. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Anyone else wake up to cute messages like battery sufficiently charged? I've never had that message. What the fuck? What kind of phone it's, do you have? I have an iPhone. Does it say battery, battery sufficiently charged? Yeah. Why? Um, It gets to a certain point. And it'll just pop up. That's weird. Like mine pops up around 85%. <laughs> it's enough. Take I mean, it's still me charging. It, it still charges. It's just telling me like, hey, you can go out and do things with your phone at this point. And it'll last. <laughs> <laughs> it says, you know, you don't you have a life? <laughs> Can't you no. do something else? I sleep until four. No, I don't have a life. <laughs> I sleep until I have to feed the cats. What, what, besides what I just told you, what have you learned that you were taught wrong? Existing. Come on, man. I don't know. I'd probably say relationships. You were taught how to relationship? I mean, think about it. You go, normally most people in relationships go based off of like their parents and everything. I do not base anything off of my parents. Well, I do not you... base a single thing off of my parents. You know the saying of, oh, I want to I wanna be better than my parents were for me. Yeah, I took that and ran with it. Hard. Like, Ow. four states away hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be like my parents at all. So, no, I did not take my relationship tips from them. Are you uh, kidding me? Don't follow in my footsteps. I run into walls. I used to get so mad at fucking walls. When I was younger, I had extreme anger issues. Like, I mean, fucking extreme. 
I, ra I would ran into a I ran into many walls and I just start throwing hands. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you have anger issues without telling without telling me you have anger issues. I ran into a wall, blamed the wall and punched the wall and hurt my hand. <laughs> Tell me said, you are you? mentally healthy without telling me you're ment you're mentally insane, not just unhealthy. I punch walls when they run into me. Punch shower curtains when they touch me when I don't want to be touched. <laughs> I don't have a shower curtain. I don't trust shower curtains. <laughs> now, like, I'll sit on the edge of my tub after I get out of the shower for a second. I'll sit in, like, a towel. Yeah. And then my shower curtain will touch me and it scares me and I punch it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I used to... We had a shower ghost. <laughs> I don't know if the shower ghost still lives there, but we used to have a fucking shower ghost that anytime you would sit, I would sit on the, uh, the inside of the tub and, like, shave, and it would, like, it would fucking poke me in the back. <laughs> uh, excuse me, get your bony ass finger and or small dick out of the middle of my fucking back. Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> That shit used to drive me insane. Cause like you could you could physically see something poking through the shower curtain. Like it wasn't yeah. just like a random oh, I scared myself. It you could see it. Right. No thank you. Fuck off. I already <laughs> don't trust the goddamn shower when I can't see through the sh shower curtain because my mom always liked having like fish on it. <laughs> She still does that. Yeah. <laughs> that woman loves her fish shower curtains. <laughs> she used to have a dolphin one. It was I remember a, that. Yeah, it was it was like an underwater scene of uh, fish and like three or four dolphins swimming. I'm Fucking... seeing pictures of me when I was younger. I was an ugly kid. <laughs> Just a kid. Fuck you. <laughs> it took you so long. It had to process. I don't even have the energy to fucking argue with you tonight. <laughs> fuck you. Just fuck you. I don't have the energy to argue with. Who took my friendo? You always argue with me. What do you mean? Depression. Depression took your friendo. And your friendo does not have the abilities to argue with you tonight. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, he fine. He doing fine. I wanna die. <laughs> oh, he's face down in the kiddie pool? Oh. <laughs> he's, he'll, be, he'll be he'll be alright. <laughs> I'm not too worried. I'm looking at pictures from when I was like 14, 15. I had a fat face. <laughs> okay. okay. Like, it was like skinny neck, fat face face did not look good all right i can't agree or disagree i don't know what you looked like at 14 it was bad man <laughs> i to be fair i couldn't tell you what you look like now and i was just on a, a face call with you at just, certain times just know i have a nose ring now you have a nose ring and a mustache that's it's basically all i know <laughs> both are true I have a nose ring, a mustache, and earrings. That's where I'm at with life. I have a beard, a mustache, and no piercings. Yeah, get piercings. I want them. I can't. They're expensive, man. And I'm I'm broke. Me and me broke. Uh, they're, they're actually pretty cheap. Like I plan on getting my tongue ring or my tongue pierced soon. But bro, buying groceries right now is is hard. Okay. It's fair. I'd rather have food than a hole in my face. That's to be fair, Tristan's I could do it myself because I have needles. So, <laughs> listen, when you pierce your nose, that shit bleeds a lot. It's all cartilage and nerves, of course. Yeah, it, it bled a lot. I seen she put the Q-tip to my nose to like wipe it off, and it was like drenched in blood. And I was like, oh, that's nice. Thanks for putting that in my face. <laughs> She also she also stepped you through it. 
Yeah, that was a bad idea considering I have a fear of needles. <laughs> this man got hardcore stepped through it like he was five. Yeah, so she put a popsicle stick in my nose. She goes, all right, well, I'm going to put the popsicle stick in your nose. She goes, that's to keep it from poking all the way through. Thank you. That's just what I wanted to hear. <laughs> I became nose popsicle. Got it. Yeah. And then she was like, all right, I'm going to put the needle through. Mind you, I have a fear of needles. She's like, I'm going to put the needle through. And then she just jams it through my nose. And I'm like, I jerk my head back. And she used the popsicle stick to keep my nose where it was. <laughs> She's she goes, like, right, uh-uh, popsicle head. You stay yeah. here. And then she, uh, she puts the, she goes, all right, now I'm going to put the piercing in. And it like pinches harder. I'm like, oh my God, did she put it in with the needle there? Found out from my friend later on. She did. Well, you got to put it through. Yeah, but I figured she poked the hole and then while the hole's like still an open wound, just put it through. No, 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 no. You have to put it on the end of where the, the hole in the needle is. And then oh. you pull it through. Have you never watched anyone get it done? No. Yeah. They poke the hole, and it's a it's a rod. It's a, you know, it's an insertable rod that they, they poke through. And then right. at the end, they stick the, the actual, like, stud, because you have a stud instead of a, a hoop, and they stick the stud in the hole... And pull it through, and then put the backing on. I didn't know that. Yeah. Who was supposed to know that? How did you not? How? What did you think happened? I don't know. When my mom went and got her nose pierced, they stuck a tube up her nose, so I have no idea what happens. I thought they were gonna stick a tube in my nose. They did not. Stick a tube in your nose? What do you mean yeah. stick a tube in? I don't know. There's like a way of piercing that they do where they stick a tube up inside your nose. They did it with my mom's piercing. You know, before she kicked the bucket. I don't. I Okay. I don't. I've never seen the tube. Yeah, there's a way they do it. She talked about it. To she be fair, I've they, never seen a popsicle stick either. Yeah, she said they stuck a tube up her nose. Usually they just pull the nostril to the side. That's how I've seen it, I should say. They pull the nostril to the side so it can't poke through to the the middle of the, you know, nose. Yeah. And do it like that. It's real fast. Yeah. Real fast it, it in one motion. I plan on getting my tongue done next. I want my tongue done. I'm worried about my tongue, though. See, at uh, the place I went to get my nose pierced, they do like a whole numbing agent and they make you smell something while they're piercing it. Oh, you took the bitch way out. You got a numbing? Not for my nose, but for your, your tongue, they numb it. Oh, bro. That's like getting a fucking numbing with tattoo. I don't get numbing with a tattoo. I get numbing with a tongue piercing, apparently. I don't understand the numbing with tattoo. Why get a tattoo if you want numbing cream? Right. Like, you know what you're going in for. Right. It's to get a needle injected under your epidermis to get make the <laughs> the bone marrow from animals is what actual tattoo ink is made from to get right. it to stay. You know what you're going in for. Why do you need numbing? No idea. I seen a kid where he was sitting next to his mom while she was getting a tattoo, and uh, <laughs> she. Goes, she goes, I think I need a minute. So he stops. He goes, yeah, can we get her some water? And they were talking. And the mom collapsed. He, the kid goes, oh, no, she's dead. <laughs> you killed my mom doing a butterfly on her ass. Oh, yeah. no, that's yours. Got it. Never mind. My mom had a butterfly on her ass. I'm sorry. Did we not see the same woman? She had a tramp stamp of a butterfly above her ass. And my name above that, or under it somewhere. <laughs> you don't even know where. I don't <laughs> remember. You don't know where her, her, you know, majesty got your name tattooed on her ass. It was above it, asshole. Listen, was I don't it? got the energy to argue with you tonight. What is your deal? That's the second time you've said that, yet you've argued both times. 
I don't have the energy. But since we're here, right? I want. That's basically, basically what it is too. Since we've already started this, oh jeez. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> My voice said, "Fuck you." Deal with that shit. <laughs> My voice doesn't crack that much anymore, but like, when it does, goddamn. Have you ever met anyone famous? Um, no. I haven't either. If you could meet one famous person, who would it be? Queen Latifah. <laughs> That's, why? <laughs> what? That was the first name that came to my head. Um, Queen Latifah is the first name that came to your head? <laughs> don't ask how my brain works. <laughs> okay. I want to meet Kevin Gates. I would. I figured that's who you were gonna say, not fucking Queen Latifah. Bro, uh, earlier I stepped her through how my thinking went. So we were trying to figure out what um what scent this candle was, because her mom yeah. was asking me what what scent it was, and I was trying to figure it out. I think it's toffee cinnamon or cinnamon toffee or something like that and i went into the kitchen i came out and i said you want to know how my brain works she's like oh boy here we go <laughs> <laughs> she already knew she was in for a fucking stinger so i went in and i said that's that's a weird name for her. oh fuck what was it it's like what is the weirdest taste a candle is i was like that's not how candles work you don't taste them you smell them my brain went that's such a weird thing to do why do you smell candles and you can't taste them but they look so tasty what would be the tastiest candle i was like huh what would be the tastiest candle my brain went oh, caramel and fucking pretzels i was like i the smell of pretzels is just salt. That's salted caramel that already exists. Yeah. It's it's salty bread. That's what pretzels are. Pretty much. My my brain works so fucking sporadically. She goes, you know, if you don't get diagnosed with things, I don't understand. Because that right there should get you everything. I'm like, what do you mean? What are you getting at? <laughs> well, what are you saying? Spell it out for me. <laughs> <laughs> you have ADHD, my friend. And your brain no work too good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you saying? What are you saying, though? <laughs> you saying my brain stinky? My brain do a stink, a hank and stonk. Yeah, it, it's stupid. What's a, what's your favorite candle smell? I like the candle I use, which is uh, campfire. Ooh, campfire would be good. Campfire and marshmallows? Mm. That shit would smell so good. I'll tell you what, what scent of it is. It's, I got it from Bath and Body Works. It's almost empty. It's called Marshmallow Fireside. Yeah. I, I knew exactly when you said campfire. I knew exactly which one you were talking about. Yeah. It's uh, toasted marshmallows, smoldering wood, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber, and natural essential oils. I like when they, they tell you what smells go into it to make that smell. I fucking yeah. love that shit. I wish all candles had what smells they put into it. That one does. All Bath That's and Body what... stuff does. I have to wait until around Halloween time before I can get another one. Yeah. They're, they're fucking limited edition Halloween shit. Best smells. Best fucking smells. Honestly. The one I have, I'm pretty sure it's it's cinnamon toffee. And it's like my favorite fucking candle I've ever had. I love it. It's Her sister gave it to me for Christmas. Like three years ago. And I refused to use it because I don't want to use all of it so i have my um my mask that i wear sitting on top of it 
just so like I can smell it in my mask instead of the stinky outside world. <laughs> yeah. Because I have really sensitive nose. So I like smelling the candles instead. <clears throat> Wh which singer do you think would be the most fun to hang out with? Like actually hang out with? My first thought was Bruno Mars. And I was like, I don't know. He could also be like an asshole. Because like I've heard some asshole stories and everything about him. Yeah. But that was the first person that came to my mind. My first thought that came to my mind was Chris Brown. I didn't think that was a good idea, though, so I got to pick a different one. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, and I don't think it would be fun to hang out with him. I don't know why my brain immediately said Chris Brown. Our brains went to two vastly different people. <laughs> I think it'd be fun to hang out with Juice World. I mean, he's dead, though. I know. <laughs> okay, J uh, just making sure we're on the s we're on the same page. <laughs> I'm very I'm very aware he's dead. Okay, all right. I'm just uh, just just making sure, man. Just making sure. Uh, machine gun guy. He's a good quoted to hang out with. He's got. Doesn't he have like a feet fetish thing? I don't know. Kevin Gates is a feet fetish, and he's still my favorite rapper. He's also a piss lord, so. Look at you, Captain Fucking Judgy. I'm not. Hey, I I don't. I'm not judgy. I'm just, I'm just. I'm just notifying you with facts. Okay. I'm aware of his kinks. I don't judge people on their kinks as long as they're not fucking hurting anybody else and they don't involve kids. I don't I give don't two think, fucks. I don't think him getting pissed on is fucking hurting anybody or any kids. That's what I'm saying. His daughter refuses to listen to his music, but that's a whole different story. I Didn't he say he was going to stop making, like, shit like that because of his kids and then immediately put out another fucking song? Yeah, he did. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. He said he was going to stop talking about sexual shit because it, uh, it made his daughter uncomfortable. And, and then, then he proceeded to do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh, no, yeah, uh-huh, I heard. I'm trying to think of, I want to fucking, I'll vibe with Lizzo. Hang out with Adam Sandler. He makes music. <laughs> sure, I mean, just because you put out like one album doesn't make you musician. But he did it. Hang out with the fucking Game Grumps, man. Yeah, well, there you go. You hang out with the Game Grumps. I'll hang out with Adam Sandler. There we go. I'll, I'll go. I'll go fucking vibe with the Game Grumps and their whole crew. So I filled you in the last time we recorded about the whole Colleen Ballinger situation. I didn't yeah. want to bring anything up because I didn't want to overstep or like, you know, talk about shit that I was talking out of my ass about. So I'm not. I'm not gonna go into it. But how do you? How do you feel? How do you feel about it, man? Uh, I think it's fucking ridiculous. Because I've been following this pretty close. I have not. I I know. You hadn't even heard about her. Like, you didn't know who she was. Yeah, I recently have been staying off social media, so. Yeah, he, he deleted his social media and proceeded to make new ones right after. So. It was, it was like three days after. It was right after. Don't, it's right after. Shut up. <laughs> three days was also two hours, so. Shut up. <laughs> it was three. Sure it was, buddy. Sure it was. Yeah, I show I showed him the the fucking toxic gossip train. We have not been able to get that out of our heads, and I fucking hate you for it. Not you specifically, but like fucking Colleen. I'm calling your ass out on this shit. Like, I hate that you did this. You did this to us. No, like the fucking the poor kids involved. And I would call them yeah. kids, even though they're, like, our age. It's like, yeah. are you fucking kidding me? Why? Yeah. I had to be taught that, you know, I I shouldn't be messaging fans. Uh, excuse me. I don't think you should need to be taught that, but all right. Asking literal children who you handpicked 
sexual questions it shouldn't be something that you need to be taught just because you're a youtuber but you know go off i guess i've been following it really fucking close been watching adam mcintyre's videos and everything on it and jake doolittle's videos which is how i found out about it in the first place fucking love jake the dude's hilarious yeah it's just it's such a fucked up situation and i really hope they get like they they get her fucked in the end i really hope they do they yeah. file charges and everything i don't know why they haven't i that's that's one thing we've been like asking about why none of them have filed any legal charges against her yet for everything because it's it's literally able to be proven through like screenshots and everything screenshots and videos and all this shit I don't know why no one's filed charges. I mean, I understand they like, none of them are rich or anything, especially not rich how she is. But I, I, I don't understand how she isn't taken to court yet. You know? Uh, I not have the money to afford a lawyer. Yeah, but if you win, you get the money back. Like, you still have to pay for them but as vgg has said multiple times because she knows more about legal shit than i do most of these people are now like public figures and a lot of lawyers will offer to work pro bono but they none of none of them have filed charges yet on the matter no idea i've never been to court i haven't either but again we watch we watch a lot of crime and law shows so and she she's like She's a lot more knowledgeable in that shit than I am. Yeah. I I just, I, I hope she gets what's coming to her. I really fucking hope she does. Because this is, this whole fucking situation is grotesque. Hey, karma works in weird ways, man. Yeah, I know, yeah. Eventually, everyone that does wrong gets what's coming to them. And, and before anyone hits us with anything, I know we're not big or anything, but like, I'm just, I'm just pushing everything that I've heard from other videos. Don't you fucking take me to court. I will throw hands. I also don't fucking care. Take me to court. I don't have money. I'm broke. You're not going to get much off me. Don't. <laughs> you, can, you can take me to court. Fuck, I'll enjoy the outing. I'll enjoy the outing. You're not going to get much. <laughs> Feel free to try. I mean, I don't fucking care. I'll say hi to the judge and sit my ass down when they tell me to. All right. <laughs> like when that motherfucker says, you all may be seated. You know, I'm going to fucking be seated. <laughs> I'm going to sit down. I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull my nice, my nice pants out that I've had for the last decade. And I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit my nice ass down. Meanwhile, you're in a fancy suit, fancy you know, dress, whatever. Try me. I'm bitch. showing up. I'm showing up in jeans and a t-shirt. <laughs> my nice fancy clothes. Right. right. <laughs> I'll Just walk into not... court with a pair of fucking basketball shorts on because that's all I wear. There's not much you're gonna get either way. You can yeah. try. That I don't fucking care. You're not going to get anything from us. I can guarantee leave, you. You don't want this. Leave story. how you feel about our opinions in the comment. I'm not going to read it. No, I, I will, though. I might I he might will. or might not respond. He will, and he will relay, and I still won't care. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. And I won't get a response back. It's fine. No, he'll, he'll text me and send me screenshots of what someone says, <laughs> and he won't get a response back. <laughs> hey, do you see this? Crickets until next Saturday. I I mean that shit when I say I stay off of socials. I'm very rarely on my phone anymore. This man gets notifications too. I do. But you know, f f get fucked. I guess. I, I'm on my phone, but not like not like how I used to be. I get on it when I'm bored. Meanwhile, he told I me earlier how he literally curled up with his phone and went to sleep. I curled up listening to music on my phone. That's still with your phone. Notice how you still didn't get a reply. I sent that. 
hours beforehand. I saw it. I sent that at, like, it wasn't even two. Yeah, no, I saw it. Yeah, no, yeah. I figured. I usually wait for, like, 20 minutes to see if your phone pops up. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, no, he's not dead. Uh, and he saw it. Amazing. I know I'm not going to get a reply, so I guess this is good enough. Yeah, no, I saw it. Welcome to a day in my life where my business partner's a dickhead. I, uh, I saw it. I'm aware. I, I, I figured. I figured. <laughs> Just because I see it, though, doesn't mean you're going to get a reply from me. Yeah, no, yeah. He's horrible with that shit. Absolutely fucking terrible. I am terrible when it comes to responses. <laughs> you, th you think you're worth it? You're not. <laughs> you're not in the slightest. He'll it, make it sure you know. It takes a good bit to get a response from me. You gotta come at me with something pretty fucking interesting or blow my phone up until I get pissed. Then you'll get a response. And it won't be the response you want. It'll just be me pissed off. Hey, you're still answering. I can't tell you how many times my fucking stepbrother blows my phone up and I text him back. I won't answer his phone calls or anything. I'll text him back and say, what the fuck do you want? Yeah, he doesn't pull that shit with me. He just ignores me. Yeah. Well, you don't blow my phone. I I do. I do, though. I was trying to get you a blow. title. I was trying to get a title for last week's video. I wish I could show you the fucking log. I wish <laughs> I could show you the fucking <laughs> log from it. The screenshots. <laughs> You know what? I, I was, might. I might. Because it doesn't have our names in it. <laughs> I was asleep for like the beginning of that. And then I, you woke me up by calling so much. So I refused to answer. I needed then, a fucking title. Because he titles these videos. And I title the actual gameplay videos. Because he's not in them. So he can't title them. So I make him title every episode of the podcast. And this yeah. motherfucker didn't answer for over a half a day. Yeah, I decided to get back to you when I felt like it. I'm going to show you how much I blew up this man's phone. <laughs> what I had to do just to get a three-word reply. I'm not denying it. I will gladly <laughs> gladly give you the truth. I was, <laughs> You woke me up, and it pissed me off, and I refused <laughs> to answer. <laughs> I was pissed off by the end. I think my answer, when you finally gave it to me, was just fine. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's all I said back. He didn't get a what's wrong or anything like that. He got left on right again. <laughs> no, you could you could figure out easily why I was mad. I was I wasn't gonna try to figure out what was wrong with him. I didn't care enough. He's an asshole. Anyway, I hope you like this. Hope you guys have a great day tonight, depending on what time you're watching. And if today's your birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy Pants Off Wednesday. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let us know what you want to see next. Happy belated birthday, Debs. And have yeah. a safe flight home. We'll see you next season.